Food habits in folk cultures are strongly influenced by cultural tradition. What is eaten by members of the folk society establishes one's social, religious, and ethnic membership. And these people cook dishes based on what is available in their local environments. Food habits in popular cultures, however, are very different. Foods that are very profitable, fast to make, and attractive to all regardless of ethnic background are popular here. Foods like McDonald's frozen meals and chips are perfect examples. For the first episode, we will be taking a traditional dish and seeing how its modern counterpart compares. We will be comparing the original Mexican burrito with the modern counterpart. And for this, we will be using the Chipotle burrito and a burrito from a local Mexican restaurant. We will be judging the two burritos difference in taste, appearance, and smell, and seeing how they relate to folk culture and pop culture. Some differences to know between folk and pop culture burritos is that beef is commonly used in American style food and pork is used in traditional Mexican style food. Other ingredients not used in traditional Mexican food are yellow cheese, black beans, canned vegetables, and cumin. This one I believe, this one's Chipotle. This is a very, very mainstream uh, restaurant across America. Most people would call it fast food. This was in Norwalk and it's more of a uh, full culture food, so it's more of like a traditional Mexican restaurant compared to the American version. So, the first thing you notice when you see these burritos is, what do you think? Oh yeah, the size and the weight mm -hmm. of it. So this is like, we can zoom in on this, this is probably close to f the five pounds. This is almost a little disgusting to look at, but it looks a lot like more Mexican, obviously, than this. And this is, the, you know, the little sad uh, Chipotle burrito we got here. That just looks plain and stuff like that. So the biggest difference in taste, I've actually been to this restaurant before, and Chipotle I go to pretty often, but this has a lot more of a um, traditional Mexican taste. This is definitely the American version of it. It's like halfway there. It's not like fully Mexican at all. And you can tell everything, the meat, the way they have the burrito. This is like a dry American burrito kind of. So the smell. <laughs> that one, hold on, let's get that. <laughs> that one you get a lot more spices. I can tell that. Actually, I talked to the guy there. He said they, this is pork, and he said that he slow roasted for 17 hours. So I guarantee Chipotle does not do that, being that they also have E. coli <laughs> from the meat being undercooked. <laughs> but this is a lot more like you get that seasoning, you get the rice that's a little bit yellow, so you can tell it's not just plain white rice with nothing on it. This is a lot more thought put into. This is, I literally can only smell that like Chipotle like pungent smell in the in the wrap. It's it. I cannot smell the steak or the, the guacamole, so this is trash. So we're gonna try the first one. This is Chipotle. Steak and beans, rice. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely, there's no like, nothing special about it. That's pretty standard, I mean, I've had this every single like time I've gone to Chipotle, this burrito, and it's never like, it's always just the same boring kind of taste. So if people like Chipotle, I don't really see why, because it just it's just so boring. So show this one now. Okay. <laughs> this is pork. Hold on, this is gonna be a lot better. That's so good. This is like really, really good. I can tell they put a lot more like thought into like the seasonings and everything that goes into it. You got you taste that uh, that yellow rice. Even though I think it's jasmine, they probably put some kind of like Mexican flavoring, because Mexican rice is yellow. And they got the corn going on. Let's put some, add some pepper on it. So yeah, overall, this one's a lot better. Folk food definitely is a lot, um, definitely a lot less present in our society today, being that we're a very, we're a very, very developed country. But places like this make Mexican food great. Places like this don't, so, that's it. Ultimately, folk food and popular food are very different and enjoyable. But this episode, we can agree that folk food won the burrito competition with its superior appearance, taste, and smell.